This is Jeremy Lemming with ACS Blog, and we're here today in an ACS event uh, regarding the 10th anniversary of the Religious Land Use and Institutionalized Persons Act, otherwise known as RELUPA, which was passed in September 2000. And we're with uh, Mark Stern, General Counsel uh, of the American Jewish Committee. Mr. Stern, can you let me know what you think about, after 10 years, uh, RELUPA, where the status of it? and the promise of it. Is the promise being fulfilled? Well, in the, in the prison context, it's given, it's put a new balance on claims of inmates versus their keepers, uh, because the general rule of, of prison cases is very much favor prison authorities. So there's been some leveling of the ground. I don't think you've seen radical results, um, but, but there is greater consideration for inmate religious liberty than there would be without uh, our lupa. Um, with regard to land use, the results are more mixed. Land use cases are necessarily individualized and they're going to vary very much from case to case. Uh, I think we've seen a surprising amount, a surprising number of cases in which religious prejudice has played a role. Um, now, of course, the focus is on Muslims, but as one looks around the country, one can find lots of religious groups um, not welcome. Um, I think as well, our loop has helped Zoning cases are, are essentially what goes on in a locality. And so the locality focuses on what's good for us on this block, in this town, and so on. And our lupus says, look, there's a national interest in having uh, free exercise of religion. And that, in some cases, is more important than your local concerns. And again, there's been a balancing of interest away from just what is it good on this block in this place to a larger social interest. Uh, again, the results are not radical in the sense that churches simply walk in and get whatever they want, at least on the litigated cases, uh, but there is a better balance and a, and a process for evaluating these claims that did not exist before.